All right, today we get to talk about Avalon Hill big box games. So I'm very excited about these. I don't know why people don't talk about them more. Um, they're lovely. I'll get into some of the individual games more later, but um, as a series, it's just beautiful box art in my opinion. And often you can find these rather complete. Um, it's not unusual to see a good handful of these on, on eBay. And considering I've talked to people who, for example, say, you know, I can't find any boxed Apple II software, check these out. There is a lot of Apple II specific stuff, but uh, a lot of what they did and specialized in was making these cassette tapes, which were available for all sorts of things. Uh, PET, the TSR-80 Model 1 and 2, or 3, I should say. <laughs> yeah, not the 2. And then the Apple II Plus, so that was brand spanking new in 1980. Uh, gotta make sure you got that 16k like above basic anyways so it doesn't get much earlier than this and I have three lovely examples from 1980 that work on the Apple II work on the PET uh, so it's hard to go wrong it's hard to go wrong in my opinion so I'd like to talk about Avalon Hill a little bit I wish I knew more about the company I'm not an expert in board games but they were I understand one of the leaders in strategy board games, especially throughout the 60s and 70s. I understand that they turned down a little game called uh, Dungeons and Dragons, which is unfortunate for them. So uh, that was a missed opportunity, but um, they did eventually get into the role-playing game and the computer game. So um, the computer game business and their entries, I think, are some of the best. Um, you know, for 1980, you have these text games that I think are pretty innovative. Uh, I haven't actually played Nuke War, but from what I've seen, there is this interesting mechanic where you could send spies in, and uh, it takes place over time. So, I don't know, maybe like Civilization, you know, it takes a while to actually get to the 60s and 70s and, and see if you have a, a nuclear war. Uh, anyway, that was the first one I actually ever uh, owned that was uh, found by my girlfriend at a Goodwill. So, these pop up. Evidently, occasionally in a goodwill. Uh, I wouldn't count on it, though. So, uh, Pretty available on eBay. I would recommend checking that out. Um, another thing I enjoy, um, and I think one of the reasons that they do have these big boxes is because they are sort of blurring the lines between a board game and a computer game. So, Apple II, got a 48K there. But um, yeah, we have pieces. We have a board game. So a lot of these were designed to work in tandem with physical pieces and I have no idea <laughs> what is in a lot of these because some are still sealed um, I hope in a future video to maybe unbox one of these so let's check that out but um, yeah just to, as an introduction uh, I really wanted to highlight these things I think they're wonderful additions you get any one or two of these I, I think it would make your Apple II collection wonderful your PET collection a little cooler um, and it's just an interesting time period. This is still the dawn of personal computing. Uh, I'm amused at uh, how they're trying to convince people that, you know, hey, this can play games too. Um, there's an advertisement I'll show you briefly. Um, oops. Let's get this in focus. So here, the computer is much, much more than a bookkeeping device should say device so I it's very interesting to watch them sell a computer game in 1980 uh, I also have to point out this hilarious gem uh, where can you get these new games we wish we knew <laughs> um, they basically just uh, can't say where it might show up in a store at least they have their address but yeah that's it gives you a sense of what it took to get a computer game around they had no idea what store was going to carry them. This is a brand new concept. People were barely carrying the computers. So, anyways, if you love early retro computing like I know I do, um, highly recommended. Check these guys out, and definitely going to be talking about them more.